Hi everyone, this is Audrey Tang, Taiwan's Digital Minister. I'm very happy to be here with you virtually to share with you some thoughts around the legalization of benefit corporation. Back in 2014, the administration at the time started the Year of Social Enterprise. At the time, it was a broad dialogue uh, with the academia, with the voluntary sector, with the private sector, on um, exactly how should we uh, further each other's social innovation and social missions. So at the time, the administration did not put any particular legal strategy uh, into the action plan. Rather, it was to look at the regulations at the time and work out how exactly can the government respond to the actual social needs. And it was really successful. And um, the result was a great diversity around all forms as well as sectors in Taiwan that embraced the social enterprise uh, mission. Now, uh, at the end of 2014, at the time I was working with the administration uh, as an independent consultant um, on the VTaiwan platform. On the platform, at the time we started discussion also on the company law, but around the startup uh, form called closely held corporations. The idea is that startup uh, people would like to retain control of their stock, not diluted by uh, further investors. Uh, so yeah, we worked out that law in a way uh, that involved as many stakeholders as possible in a series of online and offline meetings after three months and was um, sent to the parliament and it was passed unanimously. So the Vita one system, uh, the main idea is that instead of proposing one particular draft of a bill, uh, we have many different parties and proposing their different versions of a vision and come to a rough consensus and uh, compare each other's visions. So uh, we also did the same with ride sharing with Uber uh, that was passed last year. Um, and Uber is now playing by the rules uh, co-created by the stakeholders, including drivers and passengers. So uh, starting late last year, we started the same um, process in V Taiwan and uh, the company law's relationship with social enterprises. At the time, uh, people would uh, assert that there are many different forms, such as uh, co-ops, such as MPOs, uh, in addition to companies. So um, they would not want to be adversely impacted uh, should we pass the benefit corporation structure. And I would like to thank Dr. Richard Fong for introducing uh, the broad concept as well as uh, explaining uh, very carefully and publicly um, the difference between the constituency clauses, between the CSR clauses, um, as well as the benefit corporation framework. The dialogue is still ongoing. Uh, starting next week, the Ministry of Economic Affairs has designed a set of interactive survey that I will bring uh, with me uh, to Taipei, as well as to Southern Taiwan, to uh, Middle Taiwan, and to the Eastern Taiwan to make sure that all the stakeholders, even if they don't have an internet con connection, um, it becomes aware of this uh, dialogue that we're having. And I would like the final version uh, to incorporate as many input as possible for the people practicing uh, and uh, consider to practicing uh, social innovation. So without further ado, um, and enjoy the webinar and thank you for listening.